Hi, I'm Jean Graham from Winter Architecture and this is my client Nick Russell. This apartment is located above a shop, right in the heart of Torquay. It's a sort of a cream brick 1960s era block uh, with you know, shops underneath and, and two apartments on top. We live in this apartment as a family, myself, my wife Michelle, and our two kids, six-year-old Lucy and four-year-old Edward. When we first approached the space, we looked at how we can get it to um, work better. And one of the ways of doing that was just changing some of the doorway entrances. It was more of an evolution process where we were all engaged with the design to get it to a certain level. And Kevin, our carpenter Kev, applied another layer of detail to those. And obviously the tight budget meant we were looking at things like IKEA and then substituting them with more local materials, just trying to have that tweak that fine balance. The idea of the entrance is it's quiet, it's cool, it's just a large opening space and celebrate the existing entrance door uh, with the reeded glass and keep that light that's in that area coming through to the space. So there's a sense of beyond. I quite like those low-level Scandinavian style unit with IKEA carcasses and cupboards but wrapped in this really good quality birch ply fairly low budget and also custom built and five metres long. Mm. I was most impressed by the design changes in the kids room. Nick and Michelle would like to live here for a little bit of time so I was thinking about how each child could have their own space by creating separate levels to play with hierarchy within the room so that they could both see out the window to the water. There's small curtains around each bed to create privacy and they can choose to open and close with their own little bed lights. So underneath Ed's bed, which is lower and can house longer term storage. And then below in the taller bunk, that is a hanging rail with four clothing. And wrapping the walls is a felt pin board that kids can pin their own art and create their own individuality within the space. And also the pin board is a little bit acoustic so that they can scream a little bit and it sort of gets absorbed and it's, uh, it feels nicer. It's cosier for them. They really love it. Master bed was already in the living space as the kids were in the smaller room. Before we just had a normal bed frame sitting on the floor with things pushed underneath. And now um, we've got kind of like a platform or kind of bedroom so it can transform from a bedroom to a day bed. So we raise the platform, have storage underneath for things like your Maiden guitar and then created a bed head around the kitchen, which means you can tuck the bedroom pillows away behind the bed head in the day and then set it up as a day bed slash sofa. The platform also creates a beautiful line between what is public and what is private. We're going for a sort of off-white tone fabric, allows light to transmit through the space, so even though the curtain might be shut, people in the dining area still have secondary light coming through. We put the main storage in between the living zone and the children's space, and that creates a threshold between the two. The wardrobes are IKEA, except we also had an additional little joinery item, our carpenter Kev built kind of attachments to it, which kind of make it all tie together. Yeah. Most of the original features are maintained. Same thing with the old kitchen. It's a two by four kitchen. We've lovingly restored it so that it's maintained part of that coastal holiday retreat vibe. Where the original door to the bathroom was, we actually created a, a really large pantry for the kitchen. Between the kitchen and the, the master bedroom space, there's a fold-down table that comes from a central pillar. We've got the, the yachting um, toggles and the piano hinges, and we use it all the time. Also, the kids use it for craft and play and get involved in food prep. The bathroom is the original bathroom, but we've retiled it and um, kept the original bath in the same location. And we just put a new vanity cabinet in and some, kept it really simple. The overall project value was $18,000. 6,000 of that was materials. As a team, I think we've done really well <laughs> with a small budget and a short amount of time whilst you're all still living here. <laughs> right, while we're still living here. <laughs>
Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our Never Too Small channel by clicking on the logo and the notification bell to receive updates on our latest episode.